All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be uh, setting Christian up with a hook reveal 7 inch split shot. It's got the down view and the sonar. Guys, we're going to mount it on our transducer pod here, I believe, is where we're going to wind up going with it. Set our handle will be just a little in the way of it, but nothing, no big deal. Because if she flips dock with it, Got a mount where we can mount it off to the side, but guys, I just feel like it's gonna be kind of in the way over here if she wants to shoot docks off to that side or an anchor. Same way, I just feel like we mount it to this sonar pod here. It's gonna be getting out of the way, and she still will be able to see it with no problem. I don't think. What do you think? I don't think it's gonna be in the way enough to do anything on that. I can see plenty. All right, so I guess that's where we're gonna go with it, guys, but. We're gonna get this thing mounted up, get our transducer run down to the bottom of the trolling motor with just a trolling motor mount. Yeah, as we got the grommets already through the sonar pod to run our wires through. We also picked these up at Academy. Just some uh, quick release plugs for the trolling motor. Yeah, as we're gonna mount one here. This one will go on the trailer motor, that way she'll just be able to plug in here. We we'll have this wire in up under the seat. We're going to fit some wires and come out through a grommet back here to the battery box with a quick connect on the battery box. Let's, uh, let's get this fish finder mounted. So we got it, got it mounted on the sonar pod, guys. It's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, what I wound up doing was taking my locking collar off and loosen in that factory stop that we had where I can drop the trolling motor down and that'll allow me access to all this in here when I go to run my wires and stuff. But uh, what we wound up doing, we are gonna mount it here, just kinda didn't like it there, sitting back at the seat. I think that's the best option for us, the way we liked it the best, but uh, we did have to do a little slight modification to the bracket there. No big deal in my opinion, I ain't really worried about it. I'm sure you can order that plastic bracket fairly cheap. Guys, what we did, we wound up catching two right there in the top lid of the sonar pod there and there. Yeah, that's drilled a hole and added one just so it would have three. To be honest with you, those two probably would have hold it, but that third one there I know is going to hold it pretty well. Somewhere right in there, where, where we're gonna run it. Looks perfect. Yeah, I think that'll work right there. All right, we're gonna get the <clears throat> transducer wire run. Transducer wire gonna come by the back of the fish finder through that grommet, out that one. And then you got a gap right here in this sonar pod that we'll be able to run our wire down to the bottom of the trailer motor so it'll pivot. And guys, for right now, I'm going to tie my power wire in right here with my trailer motor plug. Because it'll be on this, so just, we'll just have to worry about one battery. I may later come back and do like a 10 amp hour battery or a 12 amp hour battery for this by itself, just so it ain't pulling. I'm also thinking about maybe, Maybe there's some kind of solar charger back there, a little small one. I don't know, y'all let me know what y'all think if y'all tried one of those. But guys, let's get back with it. The transducer wire is now run through the sonar pod. Yeah, is it just coming off your fish finder? I did two pad eyes right here just to hold my wires nice and neat. Put some zip ties on those, but it runs out of the fish finder through the sonar pod, comes out the bottom. When you got enough room, just leave a little slack there on the bottom where everything still turns good. No interference. So guys, like I said, I think I'm just gonna take my power wire for now and I'm gonna go to a water tight plug right here. Just gonna leave enough slack there to connect to my plug. Like I said, these plugs you can pick up at Academy. Yeah, it's a Marine Raider trailer motor plugs. <clears throat> pretty nice little, little set up but we're gonna go to a plug here I'm just gonna take my hole saw bit pop me a hole saw here 
silicone and everything up. I'm gonna fish my wires back to here. I got a rubber grommet. We're gonna come out, I removed the rod holder. So I'll be able to get to it. We're gonna come out of a rubber grommet somewhere back here, just straight to the battery. Yeah, stay with us. We'll show you the final product here in a minute. So we got our inch and an eighth hole drill there. Took an inch and an eighth hole saw bit. Worked pretty good. Yeah, the thing fits in there nice and tight. I lined it up and took a my eighth of an inch bit for my self tapper screws to go in there. But guys, I picked up uh, some water tight butt connectors to go on these. They got the resin in them. I'm just heat it up with a lighter and make your seal. Waterproof butt connectors. Connect the wires. We got us some a couple of eight foot spools of 10 gauge wire. We're gonna run back there to the battery. Guys, we're gonna get these hooked up. Get this siliconed off in the hole. Get our wires fished back there. All right, guys. That's gonna be it on the hook reveal in style on Kristen's feel free lure. Yeah, it's turned out pretty clean. She, like I said, she's got it right there. It'll be about the view from the seed on it. Looks pretty good. Should be able to see it good there. Everything still swivels good. Yeah, as we just took and connected the power to the fish finder and the trolling motor on this water tap trolling motor plug down here. Fish the wires back through. I pulled this rod holder out. I was able to fish that wire through that three quarter inch hole with the grommet. Got it siliconed up. It's tying back to the battery. We are going to go with a, I'm going to order one offline store to buy one of the cheaper ones. We're going to go with a uh, battery box and a plug right here just for a little easier in and out. Guys, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if y'all got any questions about it, y'all drop a comment. What do you think, Christian? You like it? I like it. Shoot ya. about a perfect the perfect size fish finders you needed for it you guys hope that you put this thing to use go wear some out till next time see you guys